News today, your prime time destination news, newsmakers, talking points. Wednesday night, the big talking point. The Modi government tells the Rajya Sabha there were zero oxygen related deaths during COVID. Has the government deliberately misled Parliament? We'll have our political face off. Also, a new US based study claims 50 lakh COVID deaths in India. The author, one of the co authors of that study, former chief economic advisor Arvind Subramaniam, will be joining me tonight on the news today. But first, as always, the nine headlines at nine. Fierce opposition versus BJP face-off now over centres no oxygen shortage debts claim in Parliament. Congress accuses the government of misleading Parliament. AAP claims government will soon deny the pandemic. The BJP says the states failed to supply enough information. Steep jump in Maharashtra's COVID toll after the Uddhav Thakre government revises debt data by another 3,500. It's the state's 14th reconciliation amidst the controversy over total COVID deaths. Mamta Banerjee aims to go national, sets 2024 target with a Kela Hove slogan for the country, calls for a meeting of all opposition leaders to strategize for the next general elections. Navjot Singh Sidhu rides the momentum to take charge as Punjab Congress chief on Friday has a show of strength in Amritsar with a majority of the six of 62 Congress MLAs being there with him. Amidst growing speculation that B.S. Yedurappa is on his way out in Karnataka, the Lingayat community rallies behind him. Influential seers meet the chief minister, even Congress and JDU seeks an assurance from the BJP top brass on the new leadership. Delhi government permits farmers to hold protest at Jantar Mantar in the national capital from tomorrow till August 9th. Only 200 farmers can participate per day from 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. Baiju's acquires US-based reading startup Epic for $500 million, second American acquisition after education games maker Osmo in 2019. The Taliban claims control over 85% of Afghanistan as civilians bear the brunt of the conflict. India Today reports from the ground on the brutality being unleashed in Afghan cities. World Health Organization says virus risk inevitable at the Tokyo Olympics. A total 79 COVID cases linked to the games that begin on Friday so far. But tonight, our top story. You saw it, we saw it, the nation saw it. 